What is good YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be rebuilding the Houston Rockets around the new 50 point gamer Kevin Porter Jr. Man, the man went off last night against Milwaukee Bucks and I didn't really watch it because I was watching the NFL draft. But I did react to it on my second channel. So if you guys want to watch that video, link is in the description because I was definitely curious of how it went about. And he he scored or he shot and made nine threes W and it was on a defender like Drew Holiday, which is just even more all impressive because it's not like Milwaukee suck and like they're not a bad, like they're a good defensive team. So he did that against Milwaukee. Very, very impressive. So I thought, you know what? Let's do a Rockets rebuild and rebuild around Kevin Porter Jr. and make him the future star of this team. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. So close to uh, 20,000 subs we're getting there each and every day. And of course, like I've been saying every day, uh, if you want to see my other channels, both links are in the description. I got a gaming channel and a uh, second channel where I just kind of react and do some other things. So if you guys want to go sub to those, then the link's in the description. But other than that, let's go ahead and rebuild the Rockets around Kevin Porter Jr. Interesting things going on. John Wall is going to eventually be traded this offseason, which you imagine he would be. I assume someone will take him on, Eric Gordon. Uh, you'll ha we'll have to see what they want to do with him. But Kevin Porter Jr. is the guy I want to build around, and I want him to be the best player on this Rockets team by the end of this. So... I want Kim Porter Jr. to small forward, I guess. If I have to move him to, you know, boost up his overall a little bit, I'm willing to do that. So right now, John Wall's not currently playing, but since I do want, ha I want him to have some trade value in uh, the season, I am going to go ahead and throw him in there. And I'm going to throw Kevin Porter Jr. in there over Jay Sean Tate. And I'm throwing Kevin Porter Jr. like a ton of minutes. So that's how we're about to do things. This first season really doesn't matter other than, like I said, just trying to, you know, have John Wall, maybe his trade value, you know, boost up a little bit. And then uh, Christian Wood and Kevin Porter Jr. are the two guys we're obviously kind of going forward with. But mostly, Kevin Porter Jr., I want to see him become a stud. We're going to throw some untapped potential at him. Whatever we have to do to get this guy to be an absolute stud on this game is what I'm going to do. So, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. shot tendency real quick, checking it out. It's a 60 right now. I'm going to go ahead and boost it up to like a... I know since we're trying to make him the best player, let's go ahead and throw it to a 96. Why not? And then Christian Woods, we can throw that up a little bit as well. Get up to like a, a 79 or something. All right, so let's go ahead. Similarly, season number one, obviously, like I said, there's not a whole lot we can do this season other than just kind of watch. Then we're going to eventually in the offseason trade guys like John Wall, Eric Gordon, because they no longer need to be here. So let's go ahead. So at the first season, see how things go. And hopefully Kevin Porter Jr. is an absolute stud by the end of this. In the season, we were unfortunately a lot better than I wanted us to be. Because obviously in real life, the Rockets are going to have like a top pick in the draft. Uh, you know, you assume so as long as their pick lands in the top four. But Kevin Porter Jr. averaged 22 and a half points per game, which is a major W. John Wall as well, uh, averaging a good amount. That way we can trade him in the offseason. Then Christian Wood, Eric Gordon, Kelly Lang chipping in as well. So very nice all around. And now we get to see who wins the championship real quick. As we got Chicago making all the way to the conference finals but they do lose to the bucks as the bucks go on to lose to the lakers in five games so all right huge offseason ahead of us so um draft lottery time obviously like i said we're not gonna have our pick unless it lands in the top four but unfortunately we were a lot better than i wanted us to be so we're probably not gonna get it and uh yeah we don't get our pick back so it is uh going to the thunder because it is top four protected we do have 25 via the milwaukee bucks though from the pj tucker trade i imagine um, but so that's cool and all, but no, no draft pick for us, unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and fire our trainer. I'm going to grab a head scout, um, that, or a, uh, good trainer. That way we have those three training camps. Cause we're going to need them. And then NBA draft time. We do have the 25th pick in the draft. So there's a possibility we could get somebody, but I'm going to go ahead and trade John Wall and draft night. Need to get rid of him. No need to keep him around. So Chicago, you know, gives us a 2022 top three protected pick. I give them John Wall. Wouldn't mind that trade whatsoever. Kevin Love. Terry Rozier, I mean, quickly, and it's a, uh, a second round pick, uh, a very high. Uh, so we'd be trading down in the draft, which I don't love doing that. Gary Harris, Max Kleba, Kara Lewis Jr., and Bledsoe, Isaiah Stewart, and a second rounder, OJ Nobi, and a second rounder, Yaka Pertl, uh, Jay Crowder, and a first. Okay, uh, interesting. Al Horford. I think this one was my favorite trade because I think uh, this pick has a potential to be in the lottery, uh, not in the top, like a potential to be in the lottery and not top three. So there's a big chance that would get that we, we might get this pick. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this trade, and we get rid of John Wall's contract. So that's even a bigger W. And now we get to trade Eric Gordon. I'll trade him to wherever. It really doesn't matter. If someone wants to offer me a pick for the guy, I will definitely do that. The line is offering me a 2022 first and a second round pick, a Oklahoma City unprotected one at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag that pick. And now uh, number 25 and uh, no one else I really need to trade. So that's fine. So let's go into number 25 with the 25th pick. Who are we selecting? Um, let's just see who drops to us. So I see Quentin Grimes. I see Cam Thomas. I see Alan Flanagan. So we have some uh, 
We definitely have some options here. I think, I mean, I'm going to take Alan Flanagan, though, uh, with this 25th pick. I'm uh, pretty sure he's like a, what, what overall is he again? I always forget. 75 overall. Uh, so Quinn Grimes or Cam Thomas probably would have been the better pick. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, so Corey Kispert, 76 overall as well. So Alan Flanagan, and we get um, this guy as well. I don't know how to say his name, but I know uh, he's pretty good as well. Player options, Jason on Tate, Avery Bradley, I'm going to decline. And then qualifying offers, uh, Sterling Brown's a free agent, DJ Wilson. I mean, if Sterling Brown wants to come back, more power to him, but I won't complain if I don't get him back. So free agency-wise, uh, looking at our roster, we have uh, no point guard right now at the moment. We have the guy we just drafted in the second rounder, but don't really want him to start necessarily. We have Alan Flanagan. We have Kevin Porter Jr. and Jay Sean Tate. We have Kenny Martin Jr. at the four and Alfred Gamino and Christian Wood at the five. So... Yeah, I could use a uh, major point guard upgrade here for sure. So um, there's Chris Paul. There's Dinwiddie. Um, I don't want to go too crazy, though. I don't want to go out there and sign somebody that's not going to be you know, here for that long. So I see Dennis Smith Jr. Um, I see Ty Jerome. Okay. And there's David Duke. Uh, Frank Nilakina. <laughs> Alex Caruso. Uh, Fakandu Campazzo, however you say this guy's name. Okay. So nothing I really love, absolutely love out here. And um, as far as free agency is concerned, so honestly, at this point, I think what I want to do is I want to trade Daniel House and Alfred Gaminu together. And honestly, if I could grab like a bridge point guard, I wouldn't complain like Michael Carter Williams, Dwight Powell, Wesley Wundu, Utah Watanabe, Drew Eubanks. So yeah, nothing really pops up. So I guess we're not getting a point guard. We might just start a second round at the point guard spot and just hope it works, I guess. And then Alan Flanagan, uh, Daniel House, I think we could trade him though for like a backup guard because... Uh, he doesn't really serve a purpose here anymore. He could probably go to a contender and be pretty nice for them. So uh, if I get a backup guard, uh, that would be nice. I'm at the Magic one um, to give me Michael Carter-Williams. So that's like going to be the best guard I saw. Uh, there's Isaiah Joe from the Center Sixers. You know what? I guess we get to get a chance on a young player. So Isaiah Joe, welcome to the team. So this team is probably going to suck next year. But I believe we have our draft pick. So that's totally okay. Kenny Martin Jr., uh, Christian Wood. So honestly... I think we're going to brace the tank this year. This team is going to be complete, completely bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we definitely could use like a, a backup point guard or a backup center probably to start. So let's go um, center or point guard real quick. I'm going to go ahead and grab a backup big man, I think. Uh, let's go with Isaiah Hardenstein maybe for like one year. See how he does in uh, Houston. So Isaiah Hardenstein, welcome to the Houston Rockets and welcome to welcome welcome all right so after free agency let's go to player progression kind of see how things are going there so we get anthony lamb dj wilson Sterling brown we got a lot of guys coming back so that's gonna be some more backup depth but kevin porter jr uh 81 overall went up six that's awesome jay shante 80 isaiah hardenstein with uh 77 overall Kenyon martin uh 76 so i'm gonna honestly we're just kind of kind of rely on some player progression because we're starting a lot of young players this year which is fine because like i said kind of want to see kevin porter jr become a stud and this is going to allow that to happen so not complaining whatsoever 2022 draft class though or um on top potential camps i should say i'm going to throw one at kevin porter jr of course i think i'm gonna throw this other one at the other guys are going to be starting so flanagan's an a plus i'm gonna start this i'm gonna throw this other one at this oh he's an a plus as well okay um i saw at isaiah joe i guess and then let's throw the last one maybe at christian wood because he wasn't an a plus yet okay so now looking into our team, we're 28th power rankings. This is what our rotation is looking like. Uh, can't say this guy's name. I'm not going to pretend to know. So sorry. Alan Flanagan, Kevin Porter Jr., Kenny Martin, Christian Wood, Jay Sean Tate, Isaiah Hardenstein, Zoe Brown, Isaiah Joe, DJ Wilson. I do want to fix this to a nine-man rotation. And then the only thing, other thing I want to do is I want to take some minutes away. And I want to throw these minutes at Kevin Porter Jr. Because like I said, I want him to be as good as he possibly can. So... Let's go ahead and see what season number two, see how things go. I expect it to be absolute dog water, but you know what? It's fine as long as Kevin Porter Jr. is a beast and we can build around him next year and probably try to put a better team around him then. Suck, we're the 12th seed in the Western Conference. Harden MVP, Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year on the Knicks, Jordan Clarkson, six man, Ice Fence player, Kevin Porter Jr., most improved, average 20 nine points per game this is exactly kind of what i wanted to happen and the fact that we didn't surround him with that good of a talent uh which is why uh probably why he averaged so many points because there's just not enough scores next to him unless if uh let me see they got christian wood obviously i'm flanking average 18 so maybe i'm wrong Kevin porter jr is just balling out up, up here which is awesome like i said the rockets got this guy for a second round pick so 
whatever he can do for them is going to be a major w bro so shout out to houston maybe have the replacement of the future who knows similar current round or playoffs i should say and kind of see how these go and now we're gonna get a little more aggressive this offseason and try to you know put this team into the playoffs because i don't want to just sit here and not make the playoffs year after year so league meetings now let's go to draft lottery and see where we end up in the draft lottery we are projected at number eight. Oh, like i said okay so we're projected number six number eight and number 13 so um okay i like this i like this a lot i like this a lot all right let's see what happens so actually i might watch this lottery because why not like we have three picks in this draft so might as well see what happens so 14 goes to milwaukee interesting that the milwaukee bucks are in the lottery uh the 13th pick goes to the houston rockets so we stay at number 13 okay that's fine uh with their third consecutive year in the lottery you don't have to diss me like that the 12th pick goes to the pelicans okay uh, weren't we projected like number 10 as well if we could land into the top four i would be so happy right now i'd be so happy but memphis gets this pick at number 11 and then number 10 i'm pretty sure we were predicted um no it's the magic and the magic get the 10th pick so nobody's jumped up just yet nobody just yet uh at number nine we have the rockets and this pick goes to us so don't move up that's unfortunate but we do have one more pick uh things holding thus far no surprises the reporter says at number eight um actually okay boom so we were projected this pick and just like that the cleveland cavaliers get it and this means the rockets have moved into the top four w bro w so we were we were expected uh the seventh pick as well wait did we have four picks in this draft wait i have two top four picks in this draft no way wait two do i have four lottery picks right now and i just missed it no way because it said we moved to the top four twice dude no freaking way this is about to happen okay fifth pick goes to the thunder fourth pick okay let, let, let me i'm gonna try not to watch um mark tatum fourth pick goes to the rockets okay that's that's fine uh because the pick landed spot the rockets and then there were three so that was the chicago pick okay i'm gonna make sure please don't get the third pick let's get number two or one number one goes to the indiana pacers w okay number two who's number two gonna get i i gotta cover my eyes because i can't see what mark tatum has to say and number two goes to us okay second pick so that's fine we get the second pick in the draft and just like that number one is going to go to the washington wizards all right man so we have number one number two number four number nine and number two or number 13 wow i did not know i had this many picks in this draft that's actually insane so number two number four number nine and 13 absolute w and 29 so we have five picks in this draft that's actually exactly how you want your future to turn out if you can possibly obviously i'm gonna go ahead and bring back the head coach that we just had i'm gonna bring back mike d'antoni to houston why not right throw it you know just make you know uh, get a little saucy in here trent peterson sign him and we still have a good trainer w all right man with these five picks who are we taking man who are we taking mock drafts we got chet holmgren kenny chandler kenny chandler is probably somebody i should be taking jd davidson okay all right I, I have a lot okay so kenny chandler is definitely at the top of my draft board chet holmgren uh wouldn't be a bad pick either so let's go see uh who the washington wizards take please don't take kenny chandler i want kenny chandler to be honest with you because we have christian wood at the center spot chet holmgren goes number one to the wizards and just like that we're gonna get kenny chandler at number two so major w all right uh very interesting analysis about thomas bryant but we all know who we're taking here um, resume draft Houston Rockets now on the clock and we are going to be taking Kenny Chandler because we need a point guard in the worst way um, let's go to our next pick and let's see what the Pacers took so the Indiana Pacers selected um, Paul Bonchero however Paulo Bonchero however you say his name and just like that we have the fourth pick in the draft Kendall Brown is here we have Nafawa Dante uh, Kendall Brown uh, JD Davidson, Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, I imagine Kendall Brown's pretty good. I think. Anyway, I might be wrong, but we just grabbed a small forward. And then let me see if that was a good pick. And yes, he was 79 overall. Adrian Griffin. And now here we are at number nine. Who do we take here? Jaden Hardy sitting here. Jabari Smith Jr. sitting here. Max Christie. Um, I think I'm taking Jabari Smith Jr. here. And then we still have one more pick in this lottery, bro. Absolutely insane. Adding tons, tons of young talent to this roster. Uh, Mojab Ging, Trey Murphy, Caleb Love. Um, who do we take? Who do we take? Gene Montero, Joshua Primo, Taryn Frank, Andre Jackson. I'm going to go ahead and take Max Christie. Why not? Max Christie with this pick. And just like that, um, looking at our draft, we got a 78 overall, a 79 overall, 
a 77 overall and a 78 overall so it couldn't have gone any better really it literally couldn't have gone any better welcome to the team and we got a, and i forgot about the 29th pick and we got a 75 overall so absolute w across the board got a lot of good young players coming to this team and this is exactly how you'd want the rockets to rebuild the roster if you could make you know if you could become the gm of the rockets this would be a lot of fun kind of see what you can do as far as the draft is concerned so just like that and this is our point guard situation shooting guard al flanagan max christie isaiah joe is here as well small forward spot you got jay sean tate uh kendall brown and kevin porter jr jabari smith kenny parton uh kenny mar or jabari smith jr kenny martin jr um okay i like it um and then christian went at the big uh spot obviously so i think the only thing that i kind of want to make some moves on is uh i think i kind of want to trade jay sean tate uh for maybe a first or something just because uh i kind of want to thin up the rotation just a little bit um and he might not be getting any minutes he's an 81 overall 26 years old already so uh i could use a backup big man Clint capella bring him back to houston bernie carey jr in a first round pick say less i'll do that trade nine times out of ten and I wouldn't mind Isaiah Hardenstein coming back. I know he was a restricted free agent. So if he decides to come back, wait. Um, let me make sure I got everybody, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't think I had any important free agents. All right. I just want to make sure. Yeah, we're good. So Isaiah Hardenstein, if you want to come back and bring uh, be our backup big man, I would not complain about that. We're in C day 12. And just like that, um, Isaiah Hardenstein is back as our backup center. So honestly, man, with the amount of young talent we just drafted, anything is possible. I have a good feeling we might insert ourselves into the playoffs but it's kind of wait and see game and kind of see what we do in season number three a very fun team we're just not there just yet the knicks go on and win the championship with Cade cunningham as they beat the denver nuggets but yeah we're not there just yet we still have a lot of work to do which is totally fine i'm fine with the patient approach draft lottery time and honestly we might end up with a yeah number five and number ten so got some draft picks here from the russell westbrook trade um let me see i was gonna skip to the results this time so we end up with uh number eight and number 10 so our pick fell all the way to number eight so that's unfortunate but it's fine it is what it is staff signing steven uh randy marty but at this point i think it is time to get aggressive we have a lot of young talent we have these draft picks in front of us is there a disgruntled star out there that maybe wants out like maybe grab another star to pair with kevin porter jr i feel like that could make some sense um our power forward spot could be better i know that for a fact so if we kind of look around the league real quick kind of see what's out there i definitely am interested in trying to maybe grab somebody so yandre Aiden from the suns you got uh patrick baldwin uh carl the towns uh the timberwolves are finally contending though they have jalen suggs d'angelo russell edwards that's a pretty nice roster the blazers are selling if it made sense for me to go grab damian lord i would but at this point it doesn't make a lot of sense to put him next to kevin Porter jr jd davison Stephen curry's no longer on the warriors uh, the Wizards, uh, even after dra drafting Chet Holmgren, they still weren't very good. Ben Simmons, uh, Drew Holiday, uh, you got Kobe White, Zach Levine, Laurie Markkinen. Okay, Isaiah Todd, Jason Tatum. If the Celtics, you know, if Jason Tatum wanted out, you know, low key, we could go out there and maybe snag ourselves like Jason Tatum. That would be kind of really fun. Uh, Jaron Jackson from the Grizzlies, John Collins. Okay. Uh, Prince Chua, but dude, I think I'm going to try it. Like, what do I have to lose at this point? So, obviously, we're going to have to offer, like, an arm and a leg to get him. But we have a lot of assets, like, a lot. So, I'm not too concerned with having to give up assets. So, let's say I gave them, um, uh, let's say, of course, we're going to throw in Jabari Smith Jr., obviously, right? Jason Tatum for Jabari Smith Jr., they're not going to do it straight up for that. I'll give you, um, we have a lot of depth, so I think we could kind of get away with doing some interesting things. So let me give you this, and let me also give you this. And they don't agree just yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, what if I gave you, not Kendall Brown, but let's say I gave you, um, who could we afford to get rid of and it wouldn't hurt us too much? Probably, I guess we could probably get rid of Max Christie and it wouldn't hurt us too much. And I'll give you this first, and just like that, we get Jason Tatum. Let's freaking go, bro. So Jason Tatum is coming to Houston to play with Kevin Porter Jr. and Christian Wood. W, 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 man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, and we still have our full starting five of Kenny Chandler, Flanagan, Christian Wood, Kevin Porter Jr., Jason Tatum. Absolutely amazing stuff. Kenny Brand, uh, Kendall Brown as well, Isaiah Hardenstein, Kenny and Martin Jr., and uh, these guys down here. So we have plenty of depth to trade away. So I'm not even complaining about that. The Celtics, Guy Rodgers, Jason Tatum, you know, maybe he was like, I want out of here. Get me out. 
and he's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get everybody back. Christian Wood, I want back. I want Kevin Porter Jr. back, of course, kind of the title of the video. So Christian Wood, let me sign you, and let me also wait for... Um, okay, hold on. Wait, Anthony Lamb's getting a contract. So Kevin Porter Jr. are going to wait to see what kind of contract he's going to get and he should be back um let's go ahead and just give him a contract now he's been absolutely amazing he deserves the money he, this man's gonna get paid one day if he keeps up what he's doing uh so not even complaining about that uh, as far as rotation one two three four five six seven eight so yeah we literally just need our backup point guard uh ao however you say his damn name bro i'm not even gonna uh so uh, someone will tell me in the comment section i'm sure but yeah so let's see if he doesn't come back to the qualifying offer and just like that he does so boom got our full rotation jason tatum joining us should be a lot of fun to see what's going to happen houston we don't have a problem we're about to be a playoff team hopefully anyway but it's an interesting Joel Embiid because Joel Embiid is in a boston celtics uniform yeah i think 76 fans would go crazy if they saw him beat and a celtics uniform wow victor uh i'm not even gonna pretend to say that name kendall brown six man of the year eyes fence player yukon kongo most proof and coach of the year uh tyron lu honestly man i thought we we're gonna be much better than we were we went 46 and 36 uh but like i said i thought we we're gonna be better than that 25 from jason tatum 23 from kevin porter jr 16 16 uh 14 honestly a lot of good scoring all around and we get to play the denver nuggets so this was kind of the rotation we were rolling with um we were a five star proficiency or four star four and a half star excuse me at seven seconds so i kept it that way obviously so uh looking at it uh we got kendall brown starting at shooting guard right now uh starting over alan flanagan you know what if that's what we need to do to win a series i'm totally fine with that Playing the Denver Nuggets, man. I would really, really love to definitely not lose in the first round here. Somebody current round against Denver Nuggets, and we sweep them. That's what I'm talking about. And the Phoenix Suns upset the New Orleans Pelicans. They're the eighth seed, so we might get a nice path to the Eastern Con or to the Western Conference Finals. Excuse me. So hopefully that is the case. Somebody current round against Phoenix, and they give us a run for their money, but we beat them in seven. And now we get to play the Memphis Grizzlies, who have Jaw. James Harden gets to play his former team. They have Jalen Johnson, Jaron Jackson, uh, Brandon Clark, DiVincenzo, Marcus Smart. So this is a very, very interesting Grizzlies roster. So many current round against them, and we beat them in six games. And just like that, we get to see the Celtics versus the Rockets. The Celtics have Lonzo, Derek Whitehead, Jalen Brown, Hayson Ward, Joel Embiid, Javon Quinterly, Sky Clark, Kevin Herter, Jabari Smith, Max Christie, Aaron Naismith, Willie Hernan Gomez. Do we beat this team or do we lose? So many current round, and we sweep them. Just like that, the Houston Rockets are NBA champions, and Kendall Brown was your finals MVP. So just like that, we put a really good damn roster around Kevin Porter Jr., and he became an 89 overall by the end of it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Of course, like I said, both links in the description are um, to my other channels. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace.